And there we go, we've got a mace windowed lightsaber. Okay, for animating the lightsaber, basically what we're going to do in is we're going to set the stopwatch on the mask shape that we created earlier. And once we've got the stopwatch selected on this, we can move around the points so we get um, a nice fluid movement. So basically this does take a long time. It's frame by frame animating and basically if you're looking for a cool effect, use this. Things like effects lab and stuff like that is it's easier but you don't get as good quality. Also, when we turned the um, adjustment layer to blue, uh, sorry, if we put that as zero again, if we turn the green up, we get like a solid around the outside. I think I know why this is. If we go to the bottom adjustment layer, duplicate it, then go to the bottom one again, and select as one. Then go to the above one, Blending mode, screen. Okay, maybe not that, just made it worse. <laughs> Let's just stick to what we had before. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine now. Um, like I say, yeah, just experiment with all the effects and stuff. If we untick preserve luminosity, it um, gives a false glow to the lightsaber. It, like, as you can see, like puffs it out even more, but it's up to you at the end of the day what you use it for. So, and shadows as well, these give it a sort of false effect like that, it's too dark. So I tend not to mess with the shadows, so. Also, instead of using colour balance, you can always use colorama and effect. Colour correction and colorama. And see if you can get some cool effects here. Okay, go to output cycle and use preset. There we go, we've got a cool looking fire lightsaber that that looks really cool. Um the reason these look very cool is because it's a gradient basically. A uh, radial gradient. And it's starting off with the dark brown all the way to the uh white, white beige to give the fire effect and as you can see it'll go white, dark, dark, white so it's looping around basically and it looks really cool so that's why it gives it good effect. Another one um, let me think about this, there is another plugin that you can get for After Effects and it makes things a lot easier um, let's have a look, fire and smoke, no that just looks weird moldy, <laughs> no yeah, I'd like to say just mess around with all these. So that's quite a cool one. And you can always just mess around with the settings in this. To give it that cool effect. But yeah, so basically that's how to create your basic lightsaber. That's without moving it. So what we're going to do now is we want to uncheck all the adjustment layers just so it speeds things up and let's just say we're animating the lightsaber now so you want to select the core and you want to go to the next frame by using time controls up here if you don't see the time controls you can go to window and then time controls or you can press control 3 so let's go back to the start and that's the starting frame the next frame say it's moved so we click next frame then we want to click inside of the lightsaber then you can drag the points so let's just say the lightsaber's moved from there let's just say he's waving it so when you see like when you wave something on a camera it blurs so it says waving it to there so now if we go back to the first frame it will stay exactly the same and that's because I haven't checked the stopwatch in the core and then the mask, mask 1 then the mask sheet, you want to make sure you select that otherwise it will make everything dodgy so let's just make this go back and once that stopwatch is selected it's basically set for animation so every time you change a frame essentially it will record it down here 
So then let's go to the next frame. And like we said, see he's waving it about. See he's waved it. Now if we go back to the frame before, it's back to normal. And basically you do this and you follow all the points on the lightsaber throughout the whole of your footage. It takes a while but it's really good at the end. When you get to look at the end result it looks really really cool. And you'll be happy that you actually did it, so yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more of my Adobe After Effects tutorials. Also coming soon will be Dreamweaver tutorials and Photoshop tutorials where I'll be teaching you how to slice things, import layouts into Dreamweaver and then um host them on the website for free and cool stuff like that. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed.